This year's Transformers Legacy toy line gave us a new figure of Orion Pax, the gentle young robot who would become Optimus Prime. Which inspired me to make this instalment of Obscure Characters Month all about Orion's best friend. These are the basics on Dion. Dion was an original character created by writer David Wise for the Transformers animated series in 1985. Appearing in the Season 2 episode War Dawn, he was a banterous young Autobot who transformed into a Cybertronian transport truck. He lived 9 million years ago, during the Golden Age of Cybertron before the outbreak of the Autobot Decepticon War, and worked alongside Orion Pax and his girlfriend Ariel on the docks unloading and warehousing energy shipments. The carefree Dion wasn't worried about the possibility of a war on the horizon until the day that Megatron and the Decepticons attacked the docks to steal the energy stored there, and Dion, Orion and Ariel were all gunned down in their assault. The wounded Orion was brought to the Autobot Sage Alpha Trion, who rebuilt him into Optimus Prime, the first of a new generation of battle-ready robots able to fight back against the Decepticons. It was Wise's intention that both Ariel and Dion had died from their injuries, adding some tragic weight to Optimus's origin story. But after he turned his script in, the show's story editors modified the ending to reveal that Alpha Trion had also rebuilt Ariel into Elita One, the Autobot resistance leader and romantic interest of Primes introduced in an earlier episode. Dion's fate, however, wasn't clarified and Transformers fans love patterns. So, when early fandom came together online in the 1990s, one of the subjects that became most famously debated was if Dion had survived and been rebuilt as well, and if he had been, which of the Autobots he might have become. Ironhide was a common theory, but the most popular suggestion was Ultra Magnus, an Autobot who Prime had called his old friend in the Transformers the movie. Now, for a good while, that's all Dion was, a one-shot bit-part character turned fandom talking point. But as the 21st century began, he started to become something a little bit more, as official Transformers media actually began to allude to the fan theory connecting Dion to Ultra Magnus. In 2001, the Robots in Disguise animated series presented its version of Ultra Magnus as having been created by Alpha Trion, just like Optimus. A few years later, in their 2003 comic book War and Peace, Dreamwave Productions depicted Ultra Magnus as the leader of a unit named Security Team Dion. But still, these were hardly definitive confirmations, and the stories weren't part of the original cartoon's continuity anyway, so the debate was far from settled. In 2005, Dion got his first ever toy, a recolor of the 1986 Autobot Wheelie, which transformed into a Cybertronian minicar and was sold by Japanese online retailer eHobby in a two-pack with a recolor of the Autobot Cup as Orion Pax. Things were quiet for Dion for a few years after that, outside of a brief cameo in the first episode of Transformers Animated in 2007, which featured recycled footage of him lifted directly from War Dawn. But then, in 2010, it seemed that the long-standing debate around Dion's fate was at last solved, when the Transformers Collectors Club released a second toy of him, a recolor of Transformers Universe Hotshot, which transformed into a sports car. This figure served to finally reveal what became of Dion after War Dawn. He had been recovered by the Autobot Elite Guard, and rebuilt into this new form by Guard Engineer Copter, with whom the toy came packaged. Unlike Orion and Ariel, however, he hadn't taken on a new identity, he was still just Dion. Dion's post-War Dawn adventures were detailed in the club's exclusive comic strip. His experience with Megatron had convinced him he could no longer ignore the looming threat of war, and so he joined the Elite Guard to help protect Cybertron. Sadly, tragedy would strike Dion again when his unit came up against the Decepticon combiner Bruticus. 
Though he was able to defeat the giant by blinding him, Dion's entire team was wiped out in the fight, leaving him the only survivor. However, halfway through this story, a problem arose thanks to one of Hasbro's online fan Q&A sessions, in which company reps responded to a question about Dion's fate by saying that, in their minds, he had died and never been rebuilt. Now, this pretty clearly contradicted what the club were doing, so the club writers were instructed to kill Dion off again to bring their story in line with Hasbro's official word. Still, they were able to have some fun with this dictate. In the 2011 Club comic, as Megatron's forces launched their first major attack on the Autobot city of Iacon, Dion went into battle alongside Optimus Prime and the Elite Guard's commander, Magnum. Magnum was taken out by a blast from Megatron, and the same would have happened to Optimus if Dion hadn't thrown himself in front of his old friend at the last second, taking the shot for him. In the aftermath of the battle, Alpha Trion examined Magnum and Dion's wounds and reported that he could only save one of them, the other was too injured to help. This lone survivor was rebuilt to become Ultra Magnus. But the story very deliberately never said whether it was Dion or Magnum. And thus, after starting out with the plan to provide a definitive answer, the club instead ensured that, even decades later, the mystery of Dion's fate remains unsolved. The release of the club toy was followed by a few appearances for Dion in mobile games, including Transformers Legends in 2013 which combined his original cartoon and club toy designs to give him a new look. But since then, there hasn't been much new to say about him. However, with the release of a new wheelie toy in the Studio Series toy line in 2022, and a new hotshot figure in the Legacy toy line in 2023, perhaps the day might soon come when Dion will live again. And those are the basics on Dion. What are your thoughts on his fate? Ironhide? Magnus? Did he get rebuilt at all? Or did Dion just die? Let's hear him in the comments, and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss next week's third installment of Obscure Characters Month.